from the White House, condemnation of Georgia's new voting laws. It's an atrocity. You don't need anything else to know that this is nothing but punitive designed to keep people from voting. Demonstrators gathered in the State House as the Republican governor signed the sweeping measures behind closed doors. Why is the governor trying to sign something in private? One state legislator was arrested for banging on the door. Please stop pulling on the handcuffs. Georgia voted for Joe Biden in the presidential election, then sent two Democratic senators to Congress in a runoff election. It's anti-democratic. It's un-American. They're trying to make it harder for people to vote rather than making it easier uh, for people to vote. Here are some of the key measures in the new law. There will be voter ID number required for absentee voting. That replaces the old signature checks. There will be a limit on the number of drop boxes for early voters in each county, so it will be less convenient. The law makes it an offence to hand out food and drink to those waiting in line to vote, and those lines get long. But it does expand in-person early voting. The man who signed the bill into law says this cuts the chances of electoral fraud. Georgians will no doubt be soon overwhelmed with fancy TV ads, mailers and radio spots attacking this common sense election reform measure. In fact, left wing groups funded by out of state billionaires are already doing that now. They're using outrageous false rhetoric to scare you and put millions of dollars in their own pocket. There was no fraud. This is not about fraud. The only thing that this is a response to is the increased voter turnout of black and brown voters in the state of Georgia. Georgia's election process is already seen as one of the most efficient in the country, so critics claim this is a solution to a problem that never existed, one imagined by Donald Trump and his supporters. It will put pressure on politicians in Washington, especially Democrats, to come up with a national baseline for voting rules and regulations, and to do it soon. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera.